Thank you for joining us here at Fan of FileMate. This is the instructional video on how to update your FileMate T720 Clear Tablet. Uh, specifically, if you're having issues with your camera, in the sense that if you take pictures with your FileMate Clear 720 tablet and your camera takes the picture, but then you go to look at it and the picture is either completely grayed or white out, this instructional video will fix that problem for you. Here's what you're going to need. You're going to need your FileMate T720 Clear tablet. You're going to need to be connected to a wall charger. You're going to need the USB to micro USB cable. And lastly, or well next to last actually, you're gonna need a desktop or laptop computer. And specifically, you're gonna need this particular file from the WinTech uh, website. And you're gonna be able to find that at www.wintech.com. Once you get there, you click on support. Then you click on FAQs. In the drop down menu, pick File Make Clear and I'll probably be in the very first or two top FAQs, okay? So, with that being said, here's what we're gonna do. We're going to connect our USB cable to our laptop. Then we're gonna take the micro USB portion of the cable and connect it to our clear. And I apologize, I'm gonna put this down for just a moment. And we've connected everything. So we have the clear connected to the laptop. We have the wall charger going on. And Windows 7 is now recognizing that the FileMate Clear is here. So Windows 7 has given us some options of what we want to do. And to be honest with you, we don't want to do any of those options. So we're going to click out of there. What we are going to do is we're going to go all the way down here to the Start button. And we're going to pick Computer. Uh, no, we're not going to do that. Hold on. We're going to click on computer. And we're going to see that the clear is here. We're going to click on the clear. Now it's showing us the amount of storage for the clear. We're going to click on that. And now it's going to bring us all the file folders for the file make clear. So what you're going to do is that you're going to slide this over just a wee little bit. And we have the file already downloaded from the WinTech website onto our desktop, on our laptop or home computer. And basically we're going to drag it and we're going to deposit it into the download folder right there. Okay. Now you see I get this menu because I've already downloaded it. So I'm just going to do a copy and replace. That way you see that it's actually copying. and we'll let it do its thing. We have about three minutes remaining. While we got that going on, we're gonna go back to our tablet and we're gonna activate the settings menu by tapping on the apps folder up here in the upper right hand corner. We're going to go over here to settings. And settings is loading. And we'll let settings load. At the same time, we have the progress here going on the file. And we're going to go back to the file make clear. And we have about 60 seconds left here for downloading. And we're done downloading. We're now here at the file make clear. And specifically what we're gonna be looking for is backup and reset. So we're gonna scroll with our finger till we get to backup and reset and there it is. We'll tap on that. And we'll see that we have a couple of choices here. We wanna make sure the top two choices, backup my data and automatic restore have uh, blue check marks in it. And then we see recovery mode, we're gonna tap on recovery mode. Here we have a menu that pops up and that says now rebooting the system recovery mode. We're going to do that, so we're gonna click OK. And it's powering off and shutting down. And this is all normal. What's gonna happen is, is that it's gonna turn itself off and then what you're gonna see back on the laptop or the home computer, now the clear is now gone from the laptop. 
This is critical because you want to be able to download that file before you hit the backup um, um, in recovery mode. Because if you do it afterwards, your laptop is not going to recognize that file. So let's go back over here. We're now in the secret screen, as I like to call it. We have a couple choices, and I'm going to try to zoom in so you guys can see what it says. Um, we have the Android system recovery. We have the Android system recovery utility. The top one that's highlighted that you might not be able to see says reboot system now. And then it says apply update from external storage. Wipe data factory reset. Wipe the cache partition. Apply update from the cache. What we're going to use we're going to use the, the volume button to make a selection, and then once we made our selection, we're going to use the power button to confirm. So I'm going to try to do this with my fingers if I can, and I want to make sure that I get to uh, apply update from external storage. And there we go. I was able to do it. And let me zoom in on that for you. Right there. It's highlighted. Now I'm going to press the power button with my other finger on the very top. And now I see all the folders that are inside the tablet. Now remember, where we, we stored that folder was in the download folder on the laptop. So we just need to scroll down using the volume button to get to download, and then we're going to find the file. Here we go. And there's not a faster way to do this, so you're just going to have to do it one by one. We got to download. Now we're going to use the power button to select. And there is our update file. Let me see if I can zoom in for you. Right there, T720BK07 update, underscore 201. 21213.zip. We're going to use our volume button and we're going to select on that. Then we're going to hit the power button. And now we see that we have some install going on. Install SD card download. This is normal and this is the way it should be. Can we have the robot on his back with like his front compartment open with the red triangle? Now we have the robot standing up with some type of blue spheres coming out. And we have uh, here finding update package opening update package, verifying update package, and we have a status bar. Installing update. Make sure to visit us on Facebook. So if you are on Facebook, you go ahead and in the search field, uh, type in WinTech Industries, Please like us. We'll be providing more information about the FileMate T720 Clear as to any more future updates, um, accessories, screen protectors, or anything that I happen to find out there. I'll be putting it there. So please feel free to like WinTech Industries on the Facebook page and look for updates. As you can see here, we have some installing going on and I'm trying to uh, make it a little bit more clear for you. My other videos uh, were not that great, but I do appreciate the feedback. You can also subscribe to me, fan of FileMate. I do appreciate that. And really after this, we're gonna have basically two more steps to do and then uh, this instructional video will be over with and I do appreciate everybody who's sticking through as we're doing this kind of a slow update here, but it should speed along here very quickly and we'll get to the end and then uh, I'll let you guys get on with the rest of your day. Another thing to keep to realize is that when you um, get on the WinTech website, um, it's going to take probably, depending upon your, your, your internet connection, anywhere between 15 to 20 minutes to download that zip file from the WinTech website. So just keep that in mind, okay? And you do want to save it somewhere where you can find it on your laptop or desktop computer. Uh, once it's downloaded, you'll have to click on it to get to the zip file. All right, here we have um, some more activity. Status bar is almost completely all done.
and install from SD card is complete. Now you might say, well, why does it say SD card? Well, you gotta remember the tablet has three ways to store memory. It has a random access memory, an internal SD card, and an external SD card. So we're using the tablet's internal SD card, okay? So that's why it says install from the SD card complete because we didn't use a traditional micro USD or even a standard SD card like you would find in the camera that I'm using currently. Okay, I also have some choices up here and my choices are reboot system now, which is highlighted, apply update from external storage. So we're basically at the same screen again. So now that the top one's highlighted, we're just gonna simply come over to our tablet, push the power button and it's gonna update or reboot and finish the update. Okay, we still have the tablet connected via the USB to micro USB. We still have the tablet connected to its uh, uh, charging source. And the FileMate, I think, logo just came on the screen. And now we get to clear, it's coming on the screen. And boy, that screen is bright, that's for sure.